whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow, that was the best knuckleball I have ever hit. My first summer take me. So every now and then, a football product will get released that for some unknown reason is just a lot better than it should be. Some might even use the word overpowered. Now, because football products are so expensive these days, I'm gonna be testing three football products that people have said are just insane and they all have very low price tags. Let's get into it. Now, as someone who's never been great at knuckleballs, I'm always interested in ways that can help me improve on this. We all know the Jabulani is the ultimate cheat code, but I saw a video from my friends over at the Knuckleball Twins where they said this. Right guys, I'm telling you now, get this ball. It is insane. Now, obviously I had to try it out for myself, but which ball were they talking about? Was it Nike's latest release or some rare Adidas ball that now sells for 1,000 pounds on eBay? No, it was a ball from Umbro that cost just £7.99. Could this be Umbro's accidental masterpiece? I added five of the balls to my basket and the next day they arrived. If this ball turns out to be as good as I hope it is, it could give the Jabulani a run for its money. So just off initial impressions, I've not noticed anything particularly interesting about these balls. They look pretty standard. They do feel a bit light though. They don't feel particularly different. I guess they do feel a little bit light. All right, I'm super excited to try these balls out. I've heard unbelievable things. This ball, it is insane. So I'm sure these are gonna perform pretty well. That ball is actually insane. So by the end of the video, I will have literally hit two of the best knuckleballs I've ever seen. That was absolutely mental. But on the first day of testing this ball, it was all about just taking some shots and seeing if it's actually any good. If it is good, then we move it to the next test and then the next one. And if it makes it that far, at the end of the video, we're gonna put it up against the iconic Jabulani and see if it can beat that. Whoa, straight away, that was nice. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my God. Straight off the bat, I could tell there was something different about this ball. I normally suck at knuckles, but I was hitting loads of them. It also felt like I was hitting the ball a lot harder than usual. Whoa, honestly, I don't think I've ever felt this confident hitting a football. Right, so after those first few shots, there was definitely something different about the way this ball moved. And I was 100% hitting more knuckleballs than I usually would. So now we move on to test number two. I'm gonna have shots for 10 minutes with some normal footballs and then 10 minutes with the Umbro ball and see which performs better. My first day, summer take me I hardly hit any knuckleballs with the standard footballs. Screen. Is that holiday, moment when I feel your love and I jump upon it, crashing up my shadow? Oh my god. Okay. It definitely passed this test. So after passing test number two, I then sent some of the Umbro balls to my friend and very good free kick taker, Cam. He had some very interesting things to say. I want to get the opinions of other people than myself to see if it really is a special ball. But while we wait for those balls to arrive, let's test out the other potential overpowered football products in this video. So when I was searching for cheap underrated football boots, there was one brand that kept popping up and it was one that I definitely did not expect. Is that Website 442 had these Kipster boots as one of the best cheap underrated football boots and Boot Wizards said they were the best cheap boots of 2021. I feel good, so, good I... so with these being potential underrated beasts, I got them unboxed. They cost just £50, but they looked quality. With top end boots these days currently costing around £250, just off looks alone, these Kipster boots could rival them for quality. Right, so I've tested these boots out for skills and honestly, I think they are really, really good. But now we're going to see what they're like for shooting. Oh. These look just like FIFA's standard boots, but 
Honestly, they perform so well. So I've got to say, I was very impressed with these Kipster boots. For a cheap price, the quality was really good. I think they look amazing and they're very nice to play in. Not sure I want to call them overpowered though, but definitely a great boot if you're on a budget. Next up was the issue of finding cheap, underrated goalie gloves. With the other products in the video, I'd already seen people speak very highly of them, but I couldn't find anyone raving about cheap goalie gloves, so I had to find some myself. I went on Amazon and saw these gloves that cost just £6.40. They look quite nice, so I thought I'd give them a try. So these gloves cost £10 Amazon. Could they be underrated beasts? Could they be overpowered? We're about to find out. I'm going to save you a lot of time here. The answer is no. Right, so these are really weird. They feel like they're actively trying to be slippy. Just look at that. I've got no grip on them whatsoever. These might not have been a great choice. So yeah, these are definitely not overpowered. I even started reading the leaflets to see if they were deliberately made to be slippy training gloves or something. But now let's get back to the Umbro football, where I hit one of the most insane knuckleballs ever. But first, I sent some of these balls to a few mates so I could get their opinions on it. Keir sent me three footballs and literally said, take some shots. So I didn't tell Cam why I sent him these balls because I didn't want to influence his review. They feel pretty light, so there they are, Umbro. FIFA basic. We we'll start off with some penalties, just see what the ball feels like. First impressions, I would say this ball, very light. Now, one thing Cam mentioned a lot was how light the ball is. But this is definitely lighter than your normal match ball, but very, very light. Not gonna lie, it's a bit too light for my liking. So, is this ball actually lighter? Cam certainly thinks it's lighter. I think it's lighter. A normal football weighs around 435 grams. Let's weigh this thing. 431 grams, so it is lighter, but only by about four grams, so not really light enough to make any difference. So going off that, I don't think the weight is really gonna make a difference in how the ball performs. So, it wasn't really much lighter, but it also did feel bouncier, so I did a bounce test. <laughs> So overall, I don't think Cam was particularly impressed by this ball. I don't like them. They're too light. Which was interesting, seeing as I had so much success with it. So I guess it's just not for everyone. But now let's see what Luke makes of it. Right, so Luke, we're gonna have some shots of this ball. I don't wanna sway your opinion, whether it's good or bad or whatever. And then at the end, we'll get your thoughts on what you think of it. Luke, what's your thoughts on this ball then? Honest review. Well, they were a bit hard to keep down at first. Oh! <laughs> and I'll tell you what, the knuckle on some of them were, was more insane than I'd actually get with the Jabalani. Whoa, pause it there. That is a bold statement. And you know what? I think Luke could actually be right. So I've got a Jabalani. Let's put it to the test. So that's the next test to see if this ball knuckles more than the Jabulani itself. First up, I took some shots with the Jabulani, and true to form, it was knuckling a lot. Next up, it's time to take 20 shots with the Umbro ball. And honestly, on this day, it was just moving like crazy. Just watch this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow, what the hell, I need to watch this back. Whoa, what is, these balls are actually insane. No one else seems to like them as much as me. What the hell? Honestly, this is just insane. Whoa. And then I produced this absolute madness of a knuckleball. I've honestly never seen a ball move that much. What, what, what? 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 There's no curve on it whatsoever, just crazy knuckle. I've trapped the ball so you can really see how much it moved. I can't, no, that's, that's the 20 shots. That was insane. 
I have honestly never hit knuckleballs like that in my life. I don't know what's going on. So the other guys in this video didn't seem to like this ball as much as me. I mean, I wouldn't expect this ball to be used in a real game, but to mess around with and take some shots, it's absolutely crazy. Oh, oh, oh.